Back at it. Back at it on a Monday. Well, it's that time. <laughs> it's time for the news. <laughs> Oil prices surged today, and with reports that the United States could possibly ban the import of Russian oil, gas prices could soon reach all-time highs. All-time highs. You know what this means? I'm going to have to put off buying that monster truck. <laughs> Summer, gone. <laughs> On the bright side, at least you've now got something to talk about with your stepdad. <laughs> sure, you seen the price of gas lately? Yep, it's pretty high. <laughs> Here's how bad it's getting. According to one report, President Biden is considering a trip to Saudi Arabia, you know, the kingdom that he called a pariah on the campaign trail. Apparently, he hopes to repair relations and convince Saudi Arabia to pump more oil. You know Biden's just going to get there and be like, what? No, I didn't. I never called you a pariah. I said you were a Mariah. <laughs> because, you know, because everybody loves you. It's not Christmas without you and <laughs> all the high notes, you know? Biden could be going to Saudi Arabia to ask for more oil. It's basically like showing up at your ex's house to ask for your hoodie back. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. The answer is probably no, and you just hope it doesn't escalate. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vladimir Putin has begun cracking down on dissenting media inside Russia over the weekend. He signed a new law criminalizing international news outlets and even blocked access to Facebook and Twitter. Which is horrifying. Can you imagine getting today's Wordle in two tries? <laughs> Just not being able to share it. The, uh... <laughs> Russia is increasingly cracking down on online communication platforms, which, if we're honest, doesn't bode well for Vladimir Putin's only fans. <laughs> Ian, you, you tweet a lot, you're on Twitter a lot. How would you feel if it was suddenly banned in America? I'd be thrilled. Yeah. I'd be ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why would you be thrilled? Because the only reason I'm on there is because I feel like I have to be for comedy reasons, you know what I mean? And to keep right. up with stuff. And if it wasn't an option anymore, it'd be great. It's like if they stopped selling kale. And I'm like, well, I can't. it's not up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want it. I want, I want kale. Yeah. yeah, nothing we can do about it. I love it, but, you know, yeah. Putin. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> And did everybody see this earlier today? The Russian government shared an official list of countries it declared as having committed unfriendly actions against Russia. And people are mocking it because it, it includes tiny countries like Liechtenstein and San Marino. Personally, I'm not upset about this. I've had, I've had beef with Liechtenstein for years. <laughs> they know why. <laughs> the list included every European Union country, Japan, the United States, Australia, and more. As my therapist would say, the common denominator in all of this is you, Russia. <laughs> and we wanted to share this with you scientists now say that having even one drink per day can actually shrink the volume of your brain. Rosé all day, more like rosé all duh. <laughs> who, need, who needs a brain anyway? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're working on John Oliver. <laughs> According to the same study, drinking four alcoholic drinks a day aged a person's brain by more than ten years. Well, I'm not going to remember that, so... <laughs> Who's stupid now? <laughs> Band, will this information change your behaviour? Will this make you cut down? Wait, what information? <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this new finding. Researchers analysed playlists on Spotify to find the best artist to help dogs fall asleep. That's right, dogs. And the winner was Ed Sheeran. <laughs> yeah. You know what artist my dog prefers? Do you know? Do you know what artist my dog prefers? Any idea what my artist my dog prefers? Pitbull. <laughs> Look, it's, it's a bit of fun. I haven't even got a dog. <laughs> it, it, that's all it is. It, it's just a, it's, it's a light-hearted bit of fun. I, I, like... I don't have a dog, and I... The news is bleak, you know, and this, I, I haven't even got a dog. 
which actually is sillier than the story. <laughs> did we need this study? That's the thing. Like, is it like, who's do, did anyone ask for this study? Has anyone ever heard a dog? Be like, oh man, I had a terrible night's sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> and did everybody hear about this? A showing of the Batman in Austin, Texas was disrupted over the weekend after a man brought and released an actual bat inside <laughs> the theatre. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? Do it right. I'd be impressed if he bought a penguin. <laughs> Bring a penguin. The bat was confused. It was like, I'm just trying to see House of Gucci. <laughs> What's this guy? How did this guy think this was going to end? What's he think's going to happen when he's like, I, I, John, what are you doing with your coat? <laughs> can, you, can you carry my drink? Carry my drink and popcorn. I've got, a, I've got an idea. <laughs> John, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many... Oh, John, what are you doing? <laughs> John, what are you... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't know there'd be this many trailers. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Go. <laughs> I hope whoever did this is with someone right now going, you're a <laughs> dick, mate. <laughs> they couldn't catch the bat, couldn't catch it, but eventually it left of its own accord when it found out that the movie's three hours long. <laughs> and finally... <laughs> Here's some historic news. Is it three hours, Batman? It's oh, long. It's long. Yeah. Too long. It's three hours. Is it good? Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Is, it, yeah. is it like, oh, he's rich, no one knows he's Batman? No. no. And he's like, oh, he's in a cave. And... His life looks like it sucks. Like, yeah, it would suck super, to be Bruce Wayne. Super Stop. sucky. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, he's just... Why? Yeah, they don't want to see it. He's bummed out. He always kind of... He's dressed... bummed out? Yeah, but like... <laughs> But not the way Bruce Wayne is. Why is he bummed is... out? Because he's like, parents, he's his an emo goth kid. Yeah, he's a goth kid. He's emo. And also, Gotham sucks. They really yeah. do a good, good, good That's job of it. That's my issue with suck. Bruce Wayne. If I've got that sort of money, get out of Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> do you, know, you know what I mean? If you've got that sort of money lying around, you at least, you never see him like, oh, I'm away this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I had Bruce Wayne money, I'd, I would always be like, what? They put the light up? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, in, the sh I'm in my chateau. I can't get back. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like the idea of this. I like my Bruce Wayne to be Bruce Wayne. I yeah. like him to be like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're not going to get any of that. It's a big mope fest. But it's sick. The action is sick. Yeah, it's good. I'm sure hell. the action's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure it's... <laughs> I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's ill. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not well. Unwell. Who's the Alfred? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's your Andy boy, Andy Serkis. Dude. Yeah. Andy Serkis. We yeah. love that. Yeah, Serkis is in town for this so one. He's got so the Serkis is in town, yeah. and he doesn't pep him up. Because I always felt like, oh, nope. Alfred <laughs> peps him up a bit, you know, nope. gets his, oh, Bruce. You not know, even like, close. Like, not none even of close. that. There's, I don't, is there a peppy moment at all? Because I there's, can't think of it. There's not one peppy... Well, there's one peppy moment when Colin Farrell has his, like, feet tied together and walks like the penguin. That's pretty... Like, walks like a penguin. Pretty silly. Silly <laughs> moment. <laughs> Because I felt like the last Christopher Nolan one... What was the one where he, he lit up a bat on the bridge? Oh. Which one was that? Dark Knight Rises. That was the third one, right? That was when it flipped for me. Yeah. That was like, that is, that is, that's a lot of work. Yeah. You can't get that done in a couple of hours. You cannot get the inventory together for just the man hours of people to... To build a bat on a bridge, yeah. someone's going to go, what are you guys up to? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know where you start, but yeah. I know what it's like when we try and do even, you know, something in the parking lot. Crosswalk the Musical takes 100 people six days. And Correct. then all of a sudden, he can, like... Correct. And yeah. then it's like, oh, it's on fire. Yeah. That was for me when I was out, really. So I was excited by this new one. Yeah. I want to get back to the old Batman. He's like Kanye. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I want the old Kanye, I want the old Batman, I want right. Kapow! Yeah, nothing, that's what you want. Does he ever punch anyone and it goes Kapow? 
<laughs> no, but at one point he does yell, you're not my real dad at Alfred. So emo. So emo. Get out of my room. Yeah. No. Yeah. Does he really? Yeah. You're not my real dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like trying to get like 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 you're know, getting like an Oscar movie. Yeah, exactly. Oof. Yeah. Like you, he doesn't stomp up a staircase, but he does. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I can do it. Yeah. It's good. I know everything we said just makes it seem like it's not, but <laughs> it is. I'll watch it on a plane. All right. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try. And finally. Here's some historic news from my homeland. Queen Elizabeth will no longer be residing in Buckingham Palace. That's right, the Queen has officially moved to Windsor Castle, making the castle her permanent home and residence. It's the age-old question. We've all debated it. Do I live in my palace? Do I live in my castle? It's just... <laughs> now, I don't like helping anybody move house, but it would be cool to split a pizza with the Queen. Like, on the floor of an unpacked ballroom, you know? <laughs> I'm told the move went smoothly. We actually have a picture of the Queen's moving truck right here. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Have yourself a beignet. You know what I'm saying? A beignet.